All right, I'm just going to quickly show you how I set up two-step on my truck. I couldn't find any good videos online, so or at least the ones I could find. Everyone used the little three and a half inch display. I couldn't find one where it was just in the software. So I'll show you that because I don't have a little three and a half inch display. So all I did is I went into Spark here, and then down under Rev Limiters, I enabled this Rev Limiter number one. Spark High only is just going to set it at whatever RPM that's my new rev limiter when uh, the button's on. You can say fuel only, spark only. Spark only is going to allow you to set a high and low RPM when it's on and off. Um, but I'm just going to stick with spark high only, and I'm going to set my rev limiter to say 2100 RPM. It's, uh, it's not a turbo car. I've got a blower truck, so I'm just trying to hold it up on the converter. So I set that to 2100 RPM. I can go over to my pin map. And you see here now in my inputs, I have rev limiter number one. I'm just going to drag that down. I'll use A3, which is, I believe, a red and white wire. So if I run that to a switch to ground, I'll have my rev limiter. And that's all you have to do to uh, make that work. It's now 3.30 in the morning. So that's all I had to do to make this work in my 40. Um, I'll show you what I've got going on in the truck as far as the switch goes. But yeah, literally that's all you have to do in the software to make it work. So there's my switch. And that just goes under and connects from the uh, red and white wire on the uh, Terminator X inputs and outputs harness down to a ground on the firewall. Let's give it a quick two-step check. So that's basically all I have to do left for Miles of Mayhem. Um, I managed to figure out my transmission overheating issue last night. It was my torque converter wasn't locking up, had a wiring issue there. It's locking up now on the highway, so um, it's not going to overheat on the highway. I'm still going to add another cooler just because in town on a real hot day, you know, those temps still kind of creep up 200, 220. So. And it doesn't cool off till I get back on the highway. So obviously I don't have enough cooler in there. I'm going to add another one in line. Um, with my rev limiter or two-step, uh, that's all functioning. But now I've got it set basically right at the point where the truck wants to push through the converter. So as soon as I let off that button, it's making three and a half uh, pounds. And that's where I have my methanol set to spray. So it's just too quick on the methanol. Um, I want to get the RPMs up a little bit more and uh, maybe get a little wheel speed before that kicks in. So I might tie that into the ECU as well just so I can have it come on at say four, four and a half PSI. Um, I mean the truck only makes nine PSI basically in the top end so that's about where you'd want it anyway. Um, yeah I gotta fix that. Uh, my Brake switch. I've got an issue there. Uh, right now it's in line ahead of my line lock and every time I use my line lock I overpressure that little switch and it fails internally. I lose my brake lights. So I want to flip that around so the brake switch is behind the line lock. That way I can use it without having any concerns of wrecking those switches. Um, so get that done. I would like to build a tunnel cover or something for the box still, but I just don't know if I'm going to have time at this point. Maybe. Um, if not, I'll just stick with the status quo what I've been doing years past. Works fine. Um, I was just hoping to save some time, you know, loading and unloading, at the, unloading and loading at the track. So we'll see if I can get to that or not. But short, sorry for the short video. I just uh, wanted to get that out there. Lots to work on yet. So as always, I appreciate you guys stopping by the channel. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. Appreciate you all. Thanks for tuning in.